Guess who got a free pizza? We decided that we're gonna do a challenge, so. Whoa! I got fun. What is up guys, Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video. So right now we're in New York City, we're actually in Soho and we're about to grab lunch at this Italian place and we got the man RLE Danny. Good, yeah. Wearing all orange and I'm wearing all black, so I thought black is the new orange. Or wait, no, orange is the new black. Oh yeah, orange is the new black. That's the new <laughs> So I guess that's why you're wearing that. We're about to grab lunch with Blazonary and then we're gonna be going to round two NYC later today. Definitely stay tuned guys. All right guys, so I wanna briefly interrupt today's video to talk about the sponsor, Skillshare. Now Skillshare is actually a very cool website where they have so many classes where you can learn so many different things, literally pretty much anything from writing to classes to help you with school, illustration, classes to help you even with your business. So anything you guys wanna learn, they pretty much have it there. Now one class in particular that I wanna talk about today is how to make a dope low budget film. This one's actually by Julian Klepper and this class is very informative. A lot of people want to make these big budget films, but it just goes to show you that you don't always have to put all your money into it because there's so many other ways to do it for a low budget and you can still get some great quality content. Back in the day, I used to just shoot on a GoPro and obviously it wasn't the best, but we definitely made do with what we had. So that just goes to show you pretty much anyone can do it with pretty much any camera or anything like that. So if you guys want to learn more about that, definitely make sure to check out that class. And actually the first thousand people that use the link in the description down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So definitely make sure to check that out. It's gonna be free for one month. And you guys definitely don't wanna miss the opportunity because there's so many classes you can learn. Like I said, pretty much anything. So definitely go make sure to check that out. And let's get right back into the video. What are you doing right now, Danny? I'm about to go get a slice of pizza. I know we're about before to eat. Before we go eat? Before we go eat, yes, I am hungry. I mean, I'm hungry too, but we're about to eat. So why would you eat before we eat? That makes no sense. <laughs> Bro, I'm fat. I can eat. Your boy uh, over here can okay. eat. Skinny guys can eat. <laughs> Guess who got a free pizza? Fire. Ain't nothing like New York City pizza. Is it good? Amazing. They just moved this one down here too. Guys, so we're in Kith right now. This is actually the first time I've been here. You been here oh, yeah. before? Yeah, uh -huh. I've been to the old location and then they just moved to this location. Pretty cool concept, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? You heard that? I don't know who that was. <laughs> I said Cam's kids. All right guys, so we we're doing a little bit of talking and at first we were just gonna film a regular vlog, just go out to eat, maybe go to round two, but now actually we decided that we're gonna do a challenge. So you wanna tell them what we're gonna be doing? Sure, so me and Cam have decided to go into an outfit battle. We're gonna have a budget each of $250. We're gonna go store to store. Who could build an entire outfit? And we're gonna actually do a little bit of a teammate swap. So yes, I'm gonna sir. be working with Danny and he's gonna yes, be helping sir. me on my channel with my outfit. And I'm gonna send off oh, TJ baby. to the Cam's Kick Squad. Yes, sir, what's going on bro? So Cam and TJ are gonna build an outfit for themselves. And Cam, I mean, you take it away, bro. Where are we yeah, at? The man Arlie Danny's gonna be helping out the man John Carlo. Sheesh. My guys. Comment right now who you think is gonna win. Comment. Let's go. You already know. Team Blazer. I don't know. Baby. This is gonna be tough. I, I mean, we got it in the bag. Cam. I know Danny's I skills are pretty good, so I'm a little bit worried that he's gonna be on your team. <laughs> and I know TJ yeah. is actually nice with it is too. He? Okay. Yeah, I don't know about him. So. TJ dripped out right now. He is. Yeah. Check out the fit real quick. Drew. We can Something trip. slight. Okay, okay. I see you. So maybe he knows a thing or two about what he's doing. <laughs> but yeah, we are outside of Vintage by Round 2 right now. So that's going to be the first destination. So like he said, we're going to have $250 each. That's going to be the budget. We have to build an entire outfit from shoes all the way to what? Clothing? Like We'll either do like a t-shirt. Like a three-piece. Yeah, you know, three like piece. a t-shirt, so like pants, pants, shoes. And shoes yeah. Any extras is a bonus. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you have any extra for like an accessory, maybe a pair of glasses or a hat, that could mm. be cool. I'm not a glasses type. Maybe, guy, maybe we get a cool hat. Today you might be see. Maybe today? I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're about to walk in round two. Let's get started. All 
All right, so what I'm thinking is that, well, obviously we're at a vintage place right now, so we have to go with the clothes before the shoes. So sure. I'm thinking a t-shirt and then some type of like flannel or something over it, or a jacket, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's getting colder yeah, out. So sure. and then polish. some pants, obviously. Okay. I guess we can start looking at some of the vintage some tees. Of the tees, yeah. Anything graphic? What size are you? Probably a large t-shirt. Okay. I like oversized tees. Okay. You big NASCAR guy? Yeah, that's pretty dope. How much is that? 180. That's gonna hurt the budget. Wow. Hold on. All right, so that might be out of the budget. Definitely. So we have to keep in mind that we only have 250 for the entire outfit, so We're that's gonna, gonna be to a little difficult. Yeah, maybe like a 60 dollar tee. Okay. Most. Yeah, I'd say a 60 dollar tee. Something like that. If we can find something less, that'd be good too. Ooh, this is gonna. Be that's probably expensive. I can already tell. Yeah. How much is that? Oh my 120. Yeah, vintage is definitely up there. I wonder so. how they do their pricing here, though. You know, might be a little different than you know normal shops. That's a hundred. I just doesn't seem like it'd be too much. Was it eighty? Okay, still a little out of the budget, probably. It's kind of cool. It's a cool tee, though. Yeah, no back. Yeah, the wrestling tees are dope. That's a what? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, that's sick. That's fire. Ooh, it's a long sleeve. Oh, but look at the price, two fifty. Yeah, there's our budget. Two fifty. So that's the full budget. All right, so should we just buy one T-shirt and call it an outfit? Probably not the best for our uh, yeah. outfit challenge now. I do know those are actually rare to find a long sleeve oh, yeah. wrestling tee like oh, that. Yeah. That's why it's so expensive. Oh yeah, hundred. I think honestly, a hundred is gonna be like our best. But we like, need shoes too. I know. There's no way we're gonna find a pair for a hundred. What if we get a pair of Bands for the shoes from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That could be a nice affordable pair. pair. That could be, yeah, that could definitely work. It could definitely work. Okay. So, so I'd say either a black or a white tee. Yeah, 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 definitely. Keep it simple. You know, not too much color. Uh, you know, something to definitely spice it up. Yeah. All right, so we've been looking for a while. There's a lot of really dope tees, but out of the budget, unfortunately. We just found this one right here. That is so sick. Look at that. All right, so this one's $80. We were looking for maybe 50, 60, but I think we could probably stretch the budget and do that one. Yeah. All right, so this is a 1996. Yeah, so I think it's a hockey tee. That's really dope though. I'm gonna go with that, honestly. I think we should just pick that. I don't think we'll find anything better. Yeah, no. So first pickup, fire t-shirt. Like the colors too. I think yeah. it gives us a lot to work with and play with. You know, we can either go yellow, orange, blue, you know, even black. Your seat's in the bag as well. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, guys, so we just picked up that tee for 80. That means we have $170 left in the budget. Now we're about to go to this little open thrift market. Hopefully we can find a pair of pants for maybe about 20 bucks. That's what we're looking for there. So let's see what we can find. Dude, look at this place. What's up? For tracking, Cam, where are you at on your budget? 80 bucks, how about you? Uh, I've spent 40 so far. Oh, uh -oh. wow. Whoa. He spent, wait, we spent double the amount that he oh, spent. Oh, no. is y'all gonna be shoeless? <laughs> hey, you know, the challenge, you need the three piece. To complete oh, the challenge, shoot. you need a three piece. Okay. You need something on the top, yep. you need a bottom, and, and you need a pair of shoes. It's okay, I think, I think we got it. I think we our tee was great. worth it. Yeah, <laughs> our tee is probably gonna be better than whatever he got, that's my guess. I would say as a, <laughs> as like a general rule of thumb for the challenge though, like that's what we're gonna do, is we need to make sure we have a three-piece outfit. Any yeah. extras, extras? We'll have a three-piece combo. Yeah. Maybe a little side. So like I said, I think we need pants. I don't know if they have pants. Men's pants? These are all the men's clothes. Yeah, I think we should go somewhere else. I mean, we already got a shirt, so yeah. we don't really need that. Right. We just need a good place to get a pair of pants. Looks like these guys are splitting off. This is the part of the challenge where yeah. my man Cam, we're gonna put our skills to the test here, all right? We're gonna see if TJ's gonna help you out. Or your man Danny, bro. Me and Danny, we've been- Did you find anything here? Bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I, don't know. I guess you can't tell me. So what we were looking for, unfortunately, they had some good selections here, but not what we were looking for. So we're gonna head off to the Marshalls. It's literally 500 feet down the street, so we're gonna see what they have there. So we're outside of Marshalls right now. We're about to go in and see what they have. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've never seen a Marshalls with a, what is this called, an escalator? Yeah, an escalator. So he almost just fell on the stairs. But. All right, let's see. Dude, I really hope this isn't all women. Don't think it is, hopefully. It better not be. Yeah, that was the issue with the <laughs> that was Yeah, that was exactly the issue. All right, so unfortunately Marshall's only had women's clothing for some reason, so there's a lot of women's clothing stores around here. We're gonna check out this one. I'm not even sure what it's called. Self Edge. So we're gonna see what they have, I guess. So stay tuned. All right, so those pants were like two to $500. I think that's out of the $250 budget, so we're gonna have to find somewhere else, I guess. Yo. All right, so we still haven't picked up anything else, but we just ran into John Carlo and Danny. 
And apparently he has a pair of shoes already. I can't tell y'all the price either. We're killing it. Would y'all believe me if I told you we didn't even spend less than half the budget yet? What? Bro, where are we gonna find a pair of pants though? We literally looked everywhere. Y'all gotta just- We went to Marshall's there weren't any. Y'all gotta make morning. a 10 minute walk that way. Stores are closing six and seven. Y'all got an hour, hour and a half. Or Wait, so we're they gonna lose. A 10 minute walk? Yeah, y'all can take a 10 minute walk. I mean, we're about to go walk. We're about to book it. All right, should All we right. get shoes first? We were right here. Yeah, where's route two? Route right two's there. right there and then there's D1 right there. All right, we might as well get shoes. Something see to match. Have. Yeah. All right, guys, good luck. Mr. Cam, Mr. Teej, good luck. Best of luck to you, bro. I hope you're enjoying TJ's uh, videography skills. Yeah, I don't know. I think Danny's are a little superior. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so far? Yo, that ass, that ass, I gotta say, they're like bad on par right now. Like, from what I can tell, like, with how he's working with me and how yeah. TJ's working with me, like, very on par. Very good stuff. Yeah. Hi, right, boys. Hi. I was, hold on. I was kind of thinking, like, did the G Wagon have anything to do with it? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, bro, I didn't know if, like, you had someone, like, if you posted on your story, yo, I'm at this street right now. Someone come bring me a pair oh, of shoes. Oh, that's genius. That would be crazy. Bro, bro what, if I say, that's probably rules, bro. what if I buy some clothes off my homie? Yeah. Is that against that's the rules? Is that against the rules? Yes. I think it is. Nah, I, I think, think it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you All soon. Right, All right. Cool. So, shoes? Yeah. Where's round two? Uh, right there. $100. Probably not. Uh, they might be expensive too. $300 pants. $300. 300. What color we got on the tee first? We got orange, yellow, red. orange and blue. I'd say we'd go for something like that. I'd say a blue flannel if we can find one. That would be, that would be cool. Yeah. We should get a pair of used shoes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, right? Three hundred. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just went to another store called District One, and we were literally in there for like an hour. We finally found a pair of shoes. I'm going to show them to you guys real quick. So before I show them to you, if you guys missed the New York Got Soul video, definitely make sure to check that out. That's where we gave a bunch of people $1,000 each to see who could buy the best with it. And if you guys remember, at the end of the video, I picked up a personal pair of shoes. Now, it was a pair of Dornbecker 4s, and I literally paid $1,600, so they were super clean. And I don't know why, but they had a pair in here that was half the price. This pair right here is $800. Well, I think I know why a little bit. I mean, the condition's nowhere near the other pair I had. A little bit of cracking and yellowing, but I couldn't pass up on the opportunity for literally half the price of the pair I just paid. So I'm gonna sell my other pair I just bought and I'm gonna keep this one for personal because like I said, I paid 800 for this one. The pair the other day I paid 1600 for it. So now I'm gonna show you the pair that we're gonna be using in the challenge. Our budget was probably 100 or 120 for a pair of shoes we were looking for. And we found this pair of undefeated Air Max 90s right here. So this will work perfectly. I mean, it kind of matches the shirt and black, you can't go wrong with that. So that's what we're gonna use for the shoe. And where are we going for the outfit target? Target. Target. Target's yeah. next. We're gonna look for a pair of pants. Awesome. Maybe a nice pair of jeans or something. All right, so I think we're doing good. We are off to a very slow start because we're having trouble trying to find pants and trouble trying to find the shoes. So luckily we were able to find some. And uh, obviously the Dormaker 4 has nothing to do with the budget. That was just something separate. So anyone commenting down below, obviously $800 has nothing to do with the challenge. Just but steal, just had to get it. Yeah, for sure. So we have spent 180, that means we have $70 left. So I think at Target we can definitely find a pair of pants. Maybe a flannel as well for $70 or less. So for sure, make a cool outfit. Yeah, so we're heading there now. We'll update you guys once we get there. And we've made it to the final destination. Yes, sir. Hopefully they have what we need. Oh my, this is broken. Oh. <laughs> All righty. All right, so we found a pair of pants right here for $22.99. Chinos. Chinos, so that's perfect. And they didn't have any flannel, but they had this jean jacket right here for about $40, I think. $39.99. The funny thing is, it's actually similar to the outfit you're wearing right now. Black shirt, black pants, jean jacket. We're gonna be twins. It's okay though. <laughs> it's a good outfit. Yeah, it is. It's not bad. <laughs> Caramel lemonade. All right, we didn't find anything else, but we're gonna use the remainder of the budget on these right here. Well, actually, let's see what tax though. Yeah. They said that we're not counting tax, but. 16? Oh, they're on sale. Oh, <gasps> hold on. They're $16. Dude, that's good. That's wow. a good find. Okay, cool. $57. Spared like $12.41. All right, so I would say overall we were very successful. I think it took a long time, so we were kind of worried, but looks like we made out pretty good. These are all the pickups. We're about to meet up with John Carlo and Danny. 
and I don't know what the next steps are with this challenge, but we're gonna see their opinion and yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, because yeah, we're not dropping no hundred forty dollars on a pair of pants, uh, bro. Yo, hey, bro, he said he dropped one forty on some pants. Bro, 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 yo, in the yeah, yeah. 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 We, 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 on, we, bro. How many pieces you got? How many pieces y'all got? Well, all right. So you see, there's two oh, shoe boxes. Two Whoa! Y'all got, oh, no yeah. got a switch up. Oh, what? Oh, oh. This has nothing to do with the challenge. This is separate. Okay. If you remember at Got Soul yesterday, I picked up a pair of DB4s for 1600 At the that? store we went to, bro, District, District one, 1, literally half the price, bro. Whoa. No. $800, Wait, bro. 800. Nah, but, yeah, but the other ones are way cleaner, bro. I know, but I'm going to sell the clean pair, and then I'm going to keep the pair that's literally half the price, bro. Wow. It made no economical sense to hold on to the pair. Bro, wow. that's, that's crazy. Yo, wow, yeah. that's a come up. Yeah, yeah, it's a crazy, come man. That's a come up. Yeah. Yo, so. They're worn, but. And it's funny you did that, because yeah. I actually got another shirt at that vintage store that I was like, oh, this He's, is a part yeah, of the yeah, challenge. For, I got yeah. a personal. Yeah, no, I did the same thing. That's so funny, bro. bro that's so funny. That we picked that, though? The I'm just going to say, we definitely beat you. No way. There's no way. No, there's no way. There's no way. We crazy. We went crazy, bro. All right, we got to do a reveal. Let's so get, how are we gonna do this? So we, can just, change, we can just switch in the car, in the car and then we'll find some lighting and then we'll do a reveal. Yeah. You have an extra G7X battery? I don't. I really have just one. Ran. How's our battery like? We're at 100. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> we might have to swap batteries for my Yeah, player. yeah, we'll do yeah. it for his. I bet. All right. Have you seen ready? I'm going to this shoes is hard. I'm not gonna lie, this shoes is hard. Yeah, it's optional. As far as this is what we were really working with. The jacket was 15 bucks. It was the cheapest that I got out of anything. So, oh, wow, that's not bad. Yeah, and, and dude, it's a, it's a USA Olympics jacket from 2008. Oh, that's hard, bro. But ready? There's a receipt inside the jacket. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. It's an OG receipt? From OG. 2008. There's wow. a 2008 receipt in that jacket. <laughs> $84. For something. I don't know what it was for, but... Do you think it's for this jacket? No, I think, oh. this, I think it was just a receipt because it's a 2008 Olympic. The oh. last time this was worn was 12, 13 years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. And dude, I'm looking at your fit right now. Like, nah, bro, nah. I love the denim jacket. Yeah, yeah the yeah, denim so jacket we're puts go it together. The that's what my idea was, but we couldn't find one. And we picked up this jacket for like $40 to Target. It was actually on sale. These pants were on sale for like $16. Wow. Wait, what pants you got? Are these slacks? They're chinos. Uh, they're chinos. They're chinos. Dude, they're like a khaki. These were 140. No, Kids. that is not worth it, bro. We were like, yeah. how did you spend 140 dollars on pants? These Kids, were 16 bucks. Kid sweats. We did kid sweats. They were 140. 16 bucks. Yeah. We could have had so much more yeah, budget for definitely. like a fire jacket. A fire jacket. Bro, that would have. Yeah. At first, we spent way too much on the shirts. This shirt is fire. It's a 1996. Hockey tee? I don't, it's vintage. Yeah. I don't know the exact details on it, but this oh, shirt it's a is a buffalo shirt. Buffalo. That's fire. Yeah. Wait, you said hockey? That's a football helmet, ain't it? No. No, oh, it's I a hockey it, helmet? Yeah, yeah, I think it is hockey. It's hockey. hockey. Yeah. Oh, it's hockey. yeah, okay. But it's funny. Well, Look, all right, let's say this. Look, you guys both got New York shirts on. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. I like that. New yeah. York vibe. And I like your denim jacket, bro. I yeah. can't yeah. I love yeah. the denim jacket. Even though Except you still- It's off-white, guys. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so it's the Cam's kicks, uh, yeah. he's got a free jacket. Wait, did you steal it? <laughs> no. We didn't take it off. So we didn't take it off. Bro, like, look at the fit stuff. Yeah, they- cozy. Yeah, he's, he's cozy. cozy. Yeah, cozy, cozy fit, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh y'all Twitter! Oh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Wait, yo, yo, wait, the cozy outfit? Wait, bro. Oh, that is so I didn't funny. Even that. <laughs> yeah. That's the influence right there. Yeah. Bro, they literally look so exactly. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> I, I pointed it out earlier that it was kind of a similar outfit, but I didn't realize it was that similar. Nah, that was like, <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's crazy. That hat is not part of the fit, bro. I did. Okay, but it, it looks, part but part it makes it look better. It does, but you didn't buy that with the two hundred and fifty dollars. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this hat for free. It was a gift, so technically that's included. No. <laughs> technically, technically. You're gonna get it today. Okay. Huh? You're gonna get it today. Okay. All right. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. 
Make sure to comment down below who you think won this challenge. I think I'm gonna take it, but I don't know. Hey, bro, listen, we might have some Air Force fans on your channel, so hey, Air Max Air, fans everybody too, Air Force fan repping, you know, the boy Blaze, we got it on lock over here. Yeah, yeah, let us know who you thought had the better outfit, and do you wanna show them, like, kind of the base? Yeah, so this is the I'm base. Cool little base outfit vibe. Take the hat off, Cam. All right, so that's it without the jacket. I don't know if that affects anything, but I think it's still solid. I will say I kind of like his better without the jacket because it has some contrast, the white and the black. Mine's all black, so. And I gotta I say, like I like your shirt with the shoes. Yeah, like that's, that's what we were going for. We are trying to find a pair of shoes that match the shirt. But this is the closest we can find in our budget because this was 100 bucks, so I think it's a solid pickup. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, share this video. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. What should they turn on? They should turn on their post notifications from my man Cam, and y'all should also turn up the comment section Whoa. who won this video That's and what challenge should we do next. Y'all let sure. us know. And also make sure to follow us on Instagram at camskicks.sc and camskicks.dtx. And where can they follow you on Instagram? They can follow me at John Carlo Perch. If they want to support the store, blazenary.com. Appreciate that little plug. And guys, what other website should they check out though? Oh, y'all make sure you check out camskicks.com. <laughs> you already know you guys can get the greatest steals and deals on yes, all the sir. shoes. So regardless, guys, we had a great time. Thanks for coming to the city, bro. Yeah, I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for hanging out for the day. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night.